In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Illustrator CS4 in a screen printing process. So to begin with, I'm going to create a new print document. I'm going to go ahead and call this T-shirt. Now, there's different ways you can create your screens, of course. You can create your graphics manually or many different ways. In this example, though, I'm going to go ahead and go to the web. I'm going to go to a website called thefont.com. You may be familiar with it, may be fond of it or not. But in here there is a font called Hall of Heroes and you can download it here for free, install it on your computer. And I've already done that. So I'm going to come back to Illustrator and with my type tool I'm going to select my Hall of Heroes font. And I just so happen to know that the letter N is a Thundercat's head. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this here. And right now it's just a font, okay? I don't want it to be a font, I want it to be a path. So in order to do that, I can select Type, I can choose Create Outlines. Everything is created into a path now, but it's still a group. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify this group. I'm gonna choose Object, Ungroup, and now it's a compound path. Now. I can't work with it still, so I need to change it. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose Release Compound Path. Now it's a bunch of paths, and if I open up my Layers panel by going Window, Layers, I see that I have one layer in here, but when I open this up, there's a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to take out what I need. First of all, I need the eye, I need the head, and I need this background circle. So I'm just going to grab these and move these to the side. Next, I'm going to go ahead and select the eye. I'm going to change this to some other color. I'm going to select the face, and I'll make this that color. And just for kicks, I'm going to put this background as a brown color. I can change that later. I'm going to select everything else on the screen here. I'm going to delete it. Now I'm left with just three paths. Okay. I'm going to set these into different layers, though. So I'm going to create a couple more layers. I'm going to move my eye into its own layer the face part into its own layer and the path of the circle is already its own layer as well. I'm going to go ahead and rename these layers by double clicking on them. This one's going to be named circle, this one's going to be named face, and this one will be named eye. And I'm done. So if I want to change these colors, I could manually select them and change them, but if I want to see some different color combinations, a great way of showing your client is just to select all three of these and select this button here called recolor artwork. From here I can choose different color schemes. If you have your own custom color scheme, for example, say in your swatches panel here, you had, um, or in your color guide for example, you had different harmonies. You could choose one of those. Or in your swatches panel, you could load up one of these swatches. For example, let's say I use the earth tone swatches and I wanted to choose something uh, along the lines of these. I just added this entire swatch panel over here. Uh, let me undo this here. Okay. And select my swatch panel. There it is. I can select my recolor artwork again and I can choose this swatch panel and now it's updated over here. Okay. I'm going to choose that. That's pretty crazy looking. Might look good on a black t-shirt. I'm going to click OK and I'm done. Do some housekeeping here and close that up. Now if I need to print this for my screens, I can select all of them and just recolor them to black. And now when I'm ready to print this, I can select which layers I don't want to have printed and I can hit File, Print. In here, you'll see that only this is going to print on my printer. I can also choose these other layers. Okay, so if I just select the eye to create a screen, I can go print and now it'll just print the eye. So pretty easy stuff. But let's take this scenario. What if you're sending these this file here to print with a printer that has the ability to print these transparencies for your screen printing but you don't have one yourself? There's a likelihood that he may not have Illustrator so you'll need to send him a PDF. But that's really easy because you can just go file, save as, in here I'm going to save it as t-shirt. I'll save it in my documents file, that's fine. 
but I'm going to change the format to PDF. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and I get this save PDF dialog box. Now since this is for print you can deselect optimize for fast web view it doesn't really matter though because this is such a uh, simple file anyways I like you leaving view PDF after saving so I can check it out and this is the important one you want to create Acrobat layers from top level layers and that's what we have over here in Illustrator we have top level layers so when you're done hit save PDF and a PDF is going to get created for you just like it did here but that's all I'm going to see so what I can do is over here on the side I have these uh, buttons and this one here actually shows my layers so I can send this to my printer and say there's my layers and just click whichever layer you want to print each of these pieces individually which is what he'll need to do to create the screens and that's how you use Illustrator and Acrobat to create screens for a screen printing business.